All right, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. If you can tea tree. Uh, I got it a few years ago. I got this one and my uh, a small leaf version of it. I got them both at the same time. Basically repotted. I kept them for about a year. Fought the aphids, fought some mealybugs. I tried while I was trying to keep them inside in the lanai with this kind of backwards thought and that if I kept them in there, it might keep the pests away. And then I repotted them. The small leaf one just kind of died a slow death. This one didn't really seem to blink an eye. It did fine with the repotting. But I kept on having to fight the mealybugs and the aphids and everything. You know, bright me, I put it out. I put it outside and I just kind of said, you know, survival of the fittest because I noticed the, the mealybugs were getting around the, uh, the plants that I had next to this on my lanai or whatever. So I just put it outside and kind of like if it lives, it lives, whatever. And then I noticed all kinds of wasps around it and stuff. And then next thing I know, I really don't have a pest problem anymore. That's pretty much why it's always a good idea to keep your trees outside if you can. And I realize that's why also you guys up north fight so many uh, pests and everything. Because you guys can't keep them outside, especially tropicals like this. But anyhow, when I first did get it, it got all kinds of really crazy growth. I remember I clipped it a lot. And then I let this branch, it was just the... It was just this part here, just the normal S curve that they kind of sell at the big box stores and everything. It got this branch out here. I thought I'd let it go as a little bit of a sacrifice to uh, thick of the trunk up down there. Then at one point I thought I'd keep it. And then, so like a year, year and a half ago or so, I just kind of haven't done anything with it. And it doesn't get the crazy shoots anymore. It gets flowers every day. They only last one day. I mean, there was a couple... There's one there. It's a couple days in the winter that I noticed it didn't really have any on it. But just a couple weeks ago, we had we had the temperatures drop into the 30s a couple nights. And it got a bunch of brown leaves on it, which it really doesn't usually have. And then I've just kind of, I've always just kind of wondered what is under all this growth here. And maybe if I do defoliate or just kind of cut this way back, maybe I can see what it is. And then you know, or what the structure of this thing looks like, and then when it grows out, you know, maybe it'll get some different growth in different areas and kind of back butt a little bit differently than it has for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that today. I also did notice that a lot of the branches have, have a lot of uh, just kind of funny, I thought it was some kind of a pest at first, and I'm not going to be able to show you guys. I think it's because when I was out there, I plucked a couple of them off, and I got the ones that would just come off, but it's a funny little growth that, that was kind of coming down off some of the branches. But anyhow, I'm also, I'm, I'm going to post this, I'm going to post this on a question that somebody had about refining one. I'm not claiming I'm refining this at all. I don't have any material that's ready for any kind of refinement. But just kind of, uh, you know, this might help maybe some of their questions that they have. I guess I think they just bought a new one. And they had some questions about how to just kind of maintain it. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead. Start on top here. Alright, being that this is the first time I've done this, this has been really slow going. I don't really have a good system going. Must have a pest or two left on here because there's plenty of ants going everywhere in here now too. That almost looked like scale there, but if it was, I just got it. But this, sometimes I have a hard time considering myself a moderately intelligent person, but... I still have a hard time putting what I'm trying to say into words every now and again. This is the apex. I'm going to just, I'm going to prune it after I defoliate it, so I know I'm going to cut that piece off there. But this is what I was talking about. It actually gets, like this is the branch, and then here is where, from me not pruning it for a long time, it's actually thicker there. And instead of actually, let's see if you guys can, if I can hold that up with the background there, right? But instead of actually 
growing out, it just kind of grew all on itself. There was actually four or five branches in there that this little one was upholding. And then there was all these pieces of growth coming off of it. And some of them, when I was out there the other day, just kind of looking at it, thinking about whether I was ever going to do anything with it or not, would just kind of break off in my hands. And before I do any more pruning, I do want to go ahead and finish getting most of these leaves off just so I can see, see what I've got a little bit better. All right, I'm still operating with this borrowed camera here. And I do apologize. I'm not sure what it is I just missed there. I just had to replace the battery. It's the one thing. This camera's a whole lot better than the one I started with. But the one thing about it, it gives zero warning when the battery's out. It just stops recording. That's mostly defoliated. Let's see if I can get it. And see, that's that might be a good example of how I was trying to say that that's like all wood out there, and that's thicker than the branch that leads up to it. You can see that was just the original, you know, the way they do the uh, S curves and the box doors I took off that one piece apex to kind of show you the the strange growth there's another piece of it I know I'm gonna take this piece off here I've been thinking about doing that even with the leaves on it and take that piece off there it was growing straight down Yeah, sometimes I don't know what to make of it, but I am going to take that off there. I'll still leave that piece on there. Might still help thicken that up. It was looking kind of silly a little bit too far out there. I mean, I know that's what a sacrifice branch kind of looks like and stuff, but... I don't want to put too much effort or thought into this guy. I never throw a plant away unless it's dead. But one thing for certain... I'll never get another fucking tea tree again. Whether this one makes it or not, I find this growth oddly fascinating. I'm just not sure what to make of it. I, I was saying when the when the camera when the battery actually ran out and I didn't realize it, I was saying I feel like at some point when I used to help my dad trim bushes, there, there was a bush like that. I remember asking him, and of course he was in the military. We used to move around a lot, and I think you know. We didn't really even know what it was because, you know, 90% of the time, whatever was in our yard, we didn't plant anyway. But it definitely was not in the tropics. So it couldn't have been, couldn't have been this because it couldn't have been a tropical. The only time we lived in the tropics was when I was born. And I was in Japan, Okinawa, and we hadn't lived there since I was nine months old. So, that was not it. Hey, if any of you bonsai experts out there know why that kind of growth comes out thicker than, than the actual branch does, be sure to let me know. Was considering taking that part off too, which... Now I made a cut here, I made a big chop here, it actually came back that way before and I made the chop there trying to avoid some a bulge there. I feel like if I cut that there that might actually contribute back to that bulge. 
So I think I'll just leave it at there is, you know, at least it is a little skinnier than what's down here. So it doesn't have horrible reverse tape there, but it is what it is.